Okay, so now that my test strip is all processed in the chemicals, I can take a look at it and I can tell that I have distinct lines in here indicating my different blocks of time. The lightest end is going to be the least amount of time. So this is one second, two, three, four, and five seconds. The reason we do the test strip is so that you can determine the amount of time that's going to be best for your final. Really, this is opinion based, but you want to be able to see details, you want to see some white, and you want to see some black. That's kind of your gauge, okay? So for this one, I like the times between three and four, and for the final, I think I'm going to end up going with a final time of four seconds. So again, I still have my paper for my journal. My final time I've determined is going to be four seconds. And I'm going to go ahead and record that down. Okay? All right. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the lights. And I'm going to take my pinhole photo and I'm going to flip the switch on in my enlarger before I get out any other paper. I have to make sure that it's going to be underneath the light. Again, we do this because we don't have the easel to tell us where it's going to be. Once that's set, I'm going to go ahead and flip the switch. And then I'm going to go ahead and turn on the lights so that you can see what's actually going to happen in the dark. Okay? My timer box is going to be set to four seconds. I'm going to go ahead and get out a brand new sheet of paper. On the back side of the paper, I'm going to write my name, real small in the corner. Okay. Without moving this picture too much, I'm going to replace it with a piece of new paper that goes shiny side up. And then my pinhole camera photo is going to go face down. On top of that, I layer a sheet of glass that smashes it and keeps the picture from being skewed. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn the lights back off. Again, all of that should have done, um, been done in the red light. And now I'm going to go ahead and hit my timer. The light will come on and off in four seconds. And now I'll go ahead and process my photo down in the chemicals. Okay, once that is all done, you can see my result, and I now have the positive form of my paper negative, which is my pinhole photo.